Morning, but AARP North Dakota is here to help us identify fraud and scams directed uh, particularly at that group. Bob Intringer is a volunteer with AARP and he is here to help us untangle some of this. Good morning, Bob. Thanks for morning. being here. Thank you. You know, we just at the beginning of the week celebrated Veterans Day mm -hmm. and, you know, now we come with word that uh, the veterans are a real target for some of these scammers. And we're talking about money that goes into the billions with a B here. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about what's what's happening to military personnel and their spouses. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, um, last year, con artists According, this is according to the Federal Trade Commission, stole $477 million from veterans. Half a billion. Yep. And that is a $63 million increase from the prior year in 2022. Uh, so that kind of underscores that the military community is a prime target for scammers. Is it because they're getting paid from the government or that they, they are bigger targets? Or why, well, why are the military... And, and those associated with personnel like that, why are they such a big target? That's a good question. Um, but oftentimes what they're trying to do is manipulate the veterans. Uh, and what they're trying to do is just gain information mm -hmm. from them, personal information, or they're trying to steal their benefits. Uh, so they'll, they'll lure them with uh, hidden programs, you know, secret uh, government programs, but they have to pay a fee up front. Okay, so and that's where they get that. Some, that's the okay. that's the key. If you have to pay a fee up front, that's that's a real big red flag. And you know, other things they'll offer them cash for their benefits. Uh, they try to exploit veterans that are particularly in in uh, financial distress, and so they'll offer them cash up front. And and AARP has a podcast on the perfect scam, and there's a two part episode about a veteran that was bilked out of his his uh, benefits, and so. Another one is charging you for documents. You know, the military is not going to do that. If you need a document, they will get it to you. Okay, so. I want to back up to something you said here at the beginning as far as pay a fee to get their benefits. So they're saying, hey, if you give us this money, we'll give you your benefits early, kind of like a, a, yes. an early draw on, on a paycheck or something? Yes, yes. And, it, and if you have to pay a fee up front, it's a scam. Yeah. It's just, that's a, that's a big red flag. Are they mostly contacted via text, phone call, email, or all of the above? All of the above. They will use whatever means they can to get, wow. get a hold of somebody. Okay, now yeah. it's not just retired veterans that are facing these scams. Right. It's also active military and active Absolutely. Uh, uh, people as well, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 42% uh, of active duty are scammed every year, at least 42%. So at least four out of every ten are yep. scammed, yep. meaning they fall for the scam, or they, or they, there's an attempt made. To they've, scam. they've actually lost money Unbelievable. because they've, they've paid for something that they didn't get. So, examples. Uh, the big one to me is Tricare, which is okay. the military uh, health insurance. Right. Uh, it, it's for active duty. It's for retirees. It's for veterans that are retired. Uh, they'll try to offer them benefit, you know, get services at, and then they try to steal, what they're trying to do is steal their personal financial information so they can scam some money from that way. Uh, another one is, is fake classified ads for uh, real estate, uh, offering a discount for, you know, military or veterans and, and so they send them a, a upfront fee and of course there's no property. So basically what you're saying, Bob, is they will get notification that, hey, as a, as a military personnel, former military, active, whatever it is, these properties are for sale specifically for someone like you. And because of your uh, background, you get a discount, but you mm -hmm. need to send us some money up front, up front. for us to implement this. Yep. Thing. And you've never seen the property. They've shown you pictures. Yeah. But you've never seen the property. And then, of course, you go there and there's nothing there. Okay. You know, you guys so. have AARP has some specific tools that are available for veterans. Yeah. Uh, they have a great tool for uh, the veterans. It's the AARP Veterans Fraud Center. And you can find that at aarp.org slash veterans. Uh, it's an online education or it's a resource hub for uh, some of the latest scams that are out there by these, these Unbelievable. people. So. Okay, and one of the things you say, we hear this so often with various things, if you see something, say something. So yes. if you're someone that has, that has identified a scam, let somebody know. Who should yeah, they let know? Uh, you, can, you can call the Fraud Watch uh, helpline um, and they will help you, if, even if you have just a question. Yeah. You can call them and they'll they'll talk you through it and tell you whether or not they think it's a scam because these guys are very oh. very good at what they do, 
and it's free. You it's know, free. And, if, and if you so. are scammed, don't, don't feel like you've been duped or anything like that because they are so refined yep. and so good at it that yep. it happens to many, many people. And that's, you know, you, you mentioned the tagline, well, AARPs is if you can spot a scam, you can stop a scam. So, you, you know, that's the big, the Bob, big key Bob, thank you there. for the information. We